Hello and welcome. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use Excel to create multiple regression analysis for time series data. So suppose we have an Excel file. Um, this is the time series data. As you see, this is the weeks and this is the gallons sort. And you also have average price per gallon. Okay, so what we are going to do with data is we create a multiple regression model and then we forecast the gallons sort for week 11. Okay, so first create a multiple regression. Go to data and then data analysis. After that, select regression and click OK button. Input Y range. Y is my gallons sort, so from B1 to B11. And input X, I have two X. One X is the weeks. The other X is the average price gallon. So I have to adjust the data, okay? So I'm going to cancel this button for now. Okay. I will rearrange data to put two X together. One X is time weeks. The other X is average price per gallon. So I just copy and paste. Okay. So this is my X, two X. So now I'm going to do data and then data analysis, regression, uh, input y, so from b1 to b11, gallon sort is my y, input x, from c1 to d11 is x, okay. and uh, you can see the output is the new worksheet, uh, select maybe, um, residue plot, okay, and also normal probability plot to check the requirement uh, for the regression conditions. And then you click OK button, okay. Uh, input range, so I have to check out the labels. Then you click OK button. Okay, so this is the output and uh, make sure you understand each and every item in this output. Okay, so now we let's check uh, the graph. Okay, so this is the normal probability plot. Uh, it looks like a straight line pattern. That means uh, one of the condition of regression uh, is met. That is the normal distribution of random error, okay? Now let's look at the other plot for this one. Average price, okay? The residue plot is spread uh, out evenly. There is no pattern, okay? So the residue is uh, uh, random, okay? Same as the weak residue. So now looks like the condition of regression model is met. So now our regression equation is based on these three coefficients. Okay, so uh, the regression is y equal to um, the regression is equal to this number This number plus this number multiplied by week. So now we are actually doing the forecast for week uh, 12. So week is 12 multiplied by 12 and uh, minus this coefficient. Okay, so this is the forecast for week 12. Okay, um, so that's all for this demonstration. Thanks for watching.